Hey man, say man, bro. Okay, hold on. Sweet tea for crystals. Check. Let me see what that be hearing like. Okay, that be a blessing. And notification game. Check. What we lit then? What's popping? All right, fam. All right, ball checking in here. And today we have a lot to discuss. Now let's jump right into it. First off, salute the notification game, hitting that like button for the start. Got a real off oh, fan salute. Anyway, up first, we got that boy, Meek Mill. Now, for those that don't know, Meek was sentenced to prison for two to four years today for violating probation. Now, social media been going crazy since the news dropped that Meek got sent to prison. He's still trending as we speak, fam. The story gets crazier by the hour, fam. Now, Meek Mill attorney spoke out and peeped this, bruh. He said that the judge was biased against Meek because the judge wanted Meek to remake Boys to Men on Bended Knee and shout her out during the song, but Meek refused to do it and she said, okay, suit yourself. According to TMZ, Meek Lawyer stated that's why she was biased and stiff with her sentence. He also stated they planned to appeal. Now, this the most craziest shit I done heard, bruh, which leads me to my question for y'all. Do y'all believe him or not? Also, comment down below. What do you think about this entire situation? Prayers up for that boy Meek, man. Up next, we got that boy, Famous Dex. Oh, well, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, man, goddamn. Shit looking crazy for that boy Dex, bro. Now, Famous Dex, baby mama got him out here looking crazy as fuck, dog. Because Dex went off on her for not answering the phone, and she leaked the messages to Famous. Now, the things he was allegedly saying about his son and baby mama was so out of pocket that he had to respond on social media immediately. As long as God keep blessing me with this gift and take care of my family, my kids always straight. <laughs> baby Dex always straight. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Baby Dex is going to be always straight. Yes. Yeah. The baby Gucci. My son is going to be always straight. My daughters is going to be always straight. God bless me with a gift to take care of my kids. They're going to be straight on my mama. I know I'll be busy. I know a lot of fathers be like, man, because we be so busy get the check that we can't spend more time how we want to. We, we want to. Don't get me wrong. I'm a real father. I love to share my kids. I lost my mom at the kids. My kids is all I got, so shit, man. Listen, I don't play about man. For my mama, I, I do not play with my, my son my daughters. I do not fuck around. Now, I'm glad Dex spoke out because shit was looking ugly. I need y'all to comment down below. What do y'all think about this entire situation? Up next, we got that boy, Designer. Now, it seems like all the trolling that pissed my boy Designer off, fam. Because this nigga went the fuck off on people saying he fell off. Yo, for real, man. For all them haters out there, man. I don't want to hear all this shit. Designer fell off. Designer never fell nowhere. You know what I'm saying? I fell into a motherfucking mansion. I was born in L.A. You know what I'm saying? And um, thank you all my fans. LOD, I'm coming soon. I just want people to be noticed, man. You feel me? It's like, this notice, like, it's greatness really here. This ain't no bullshit. I'm up every night working. I'm not playing. I'm working. This ain't a joke. Kanye ain't signing bullshit niggas. Designer ain't going for the bullshit no more. Now, my advice for designer is stay focused and keep working, bro. You can't stop the trolls, bro. The trolls gonna continue to be in your comment section. If you dedicate yourself to responding to them, you gonna be responding for the rest of your life. This the first video I seen where designer ain't laughing and going crazy, bro. Y'all done pissed that man off for real, for real. I need y'all to comment down below. What do y'all think about this entire situation? Up next, we got that boy Joe Budden, and we got that boy Wet 100. <laughs> so now that the geniuses over at Apple have finally got this flip camera right, now, on my off days like today, I can make the stupid little inspirational, motivational videos like all the little fuckity LA niggas love to make. And boy, do you L.A. niggas love making these fucking trash-ass inspirational videos. So, if y'all are doing it, there must be something to it, so I'm going to try it. This morning, I woke up and made vegan eggs with celery and asparagus. And if I can wake up and have vegan eggs, you too can wake up and chase your dreams. You too can do it. You too can run miles on the canyon after eating vegan eggs. Never stop believing in yourself. 
get the fuck out of here. So, when I think of a name for my series, I'm starting my series. Be on the lookout and chase your dreams. Now, we all know in hip-hop, anytime you say something about the West Coast, you instantly become Pyro Fitness to Wack 100. And today, it's more the same, bro, because Wack 100 went at Joe Bus for what he said about L.A. niggas. Wack 100 took the IG and said this. Y'all, it's time for a demo. This nigga crazy. How a fuck boy call a real city fuckity? Joe Bun, we hear you. Should have spoke on who you were speaking on, nigga. But we hear you. Then he posted a picture of Yachty wearing a fuck Joe Bun hoodie. And he said, I can dig it. Joe Bun, I want that problem. So make sure I'm down as one of the fuckity niggas. And one fan tweeted Joe Bun and said that whack on the ground right now wilding on you. And Joe retweeted and said, whack likes attention. I'm an introvert. Case closed. I'm gonna give y'all some quick facts. Give this situation a week, bro. We won't hear nothing else about it. But y'all can think differently. I need y'all to comment down below. What do y'all think about this entire situation? Up next, we got LiAngelo Ball. Now, LiAngelo Ball got social media in a uproar right now because it's being reported that he got jammed up for shoplifting in China. They claim that him and two other teammates jacked merchandise from the Louis Vuitton store next to the team hotel, bruh. Now, UCLA put out a statement and said, we are aware of the situation involving UCLA student athletes in China. The university is cooperating fully with local authorities on this matter, and we have no further comment at this time. Now, this came as a shock to everyone because everybody was like, man, Jello is the quiet brother, but my boy done found himself in a crazy situation, bro, which leads me to my question for y'all. What would be LeVar Ball's response to all of this? Up next, we got that boy Young Lace, and we got that boy Sauce. Now, it seems Walker. like once every month now, that boy Sauce Walker gives us a funny moment, bro. And today, it's more the same, bro, because Sauce Walker allegedly took Young Lace's girlfriend, and they been going back and forth all day, bro. Now, I'm going to leave y'all with the videos on what went down. Once y'all done, I need y'all to comment down below. What do y'all think about this entire situation? Also, if you haven't, hit that sub button, sub to the channel. Also, hit that bell beside it so you can get that notification anytime I upload. We're y'all on that too. Honor. K. Grind. Thanks for the support, fam. All ball. Gone. Am I too sick? Am I too sick? Hey man, it's the kid that did, man, with some news you can use, man. The K-I-D, the D-I-D. Oh wait. Hey man, I just wanted to let you know, man. I got the bitch, man. Hey man, I got the bitch, man. Hey, I got the bitch, but she didn't come in the handy, man. She didn't come straight in the empty handy, man. Yeah, man. I have a man. No little baby. Play with me and knock on this door. And I don't open that motherfucker up. Y'all seen the difference. The best money of this whole life. And she destroyed it in a matter of 30 seconds to go and allow this clown to be excited. That's when you know a motherfucker look up to you. When they want to be you. When a nigga go get his bitch that he had for a year and a half back and he get that excited like he just came up on one of mine. Man, I line mine up, man, like the motherfucking United States Army, man. And loud dude to try to knock each one of them down. He couldn't knock half of one. <laughs> but I can't really just get to say what I want to say because all these rich folks out here. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all give me about five, ten minutes, though. We're going to have a long conversation, man. You know what I'm saying? Slip the motherfucking ass back well, in. Yeah, man, I got the fuck.
fucking bitch, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. The Megan bitch, man. She came back to her motherfucking going. She didn't want to be a motherfucking human no more. That bitch wasn't come back up there. Yeah, man. I know it. Uh-huh. Yeah, man. I want to appreciate you, man. And thank you, man, for this beautiful smile that we've been waiting to get for so long, man. Them brand new motherfucking teeth, man. Them, ooh, look at them beautiful motherfuckers. Man, that's a $20 million smile, man, that you paid 20000 for, man. And she came with 20 See, man. Yeah, man. Cause I kicked the bitch out. Cause she didn't wanna fuck with the dripping, huh? Yeah, cause you ain't get it from me, Stress man. That you told me to clean up, man. You picked up on the side of the road and she came back. Like Come on. Oh, hey, reporting live from SPSP motherfucking in. It's your number one motherfucking man, man. Saucepin A motherfucking Smith. And right now, I'm talking to the motherfucking all star, legendary motherfucking bitch. Goddamn me. Saucepin Austin Shutterworth, bitch. How did you go over there and come from out of Hurricane Harvey, suck a deficit, being in the storm, and get this trick ass nigga to pick you up and walk the road, get your new house, new TV, new couch, and you came with 20 cents? And I how did you do it? She doesn't even know. <laughs> hey, you been there for five weeks. How much money did you tuck in the hair? He thought I knew how to do it. She, oh my God. She tucked the money in her wig. Hold on. I just want to ask this one. Can we talk? Here's what I'm saying. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You was with him for a week and what he wanted to do? Freak, huh? He wanted to freak the first week. He didn't want to get no money. Hell, your P stands for porn star. And from what I hear, you're a porn star. You a poor one. Cause one thing you don't wanna do, pay. Don't bring your own. I bet you I get some of your weak ass on, man. Cause I'm tired of fucking your weak ass. Cause that's all you wanna do is fuck. And them hoes ain't getting no money over there. They just are getting babysitting and motherfucking me up uh, tricked on like all the chicks they got at work. But this is the thing about my bitch. You can keep my hoe with just no chicken and no spinning and no buying shit. Cause I've been riding in G wagons, been riding in Rory's, been having condos, three store lofts, and all this type of shit. And I've been not around the bitch, off rapping, off dripping sauce, off with another bitch. The problem was, nigga, the out the hey man, I'm hey with my, I'm a king man. I'm gonna make these bitches be and ride other bitches. And, hey man, I need y'all to yeah enjoy each other, nigga. Y'all can't, all right, cool, fuck it, man. But guess what? I'm dripping in sauce, man. Fuck y'all, I'm a rapper, man. I'm enjoying this rapping, man. Yeah, man, I'm enjoying this rapping and love all my fans. Yeah. Yeah, hey, that's what I do, brother. <laughs> I'm a rapper, man. Yeah, you understand me? And that's what you want to be. That's why you keep dropping them songs, man. I can give a damn about rapping.